What's going on YouTube? Tonight we're going to talk about Melvin Williams, aka Lil Melvin. Lil Melvin was from Baltimore, Maryland, West Baltimore to be exact. Lil Melvin at a young age was just a gambler, a pool shark, which he made a lot of money doing. He was like a regular dude just out here trying to make it. But somehow in the 60s, Lil Melvin ran across a Jewish dude in downtown Baltimore. The Jewish dude was well connected. You know, make a long story short, Lil Melvin ended up getting incarcerated after the riots, after they killed Dr. Martin Luther King. Because Lil Melvin had so much power, he was able to go talk to the people and stop the riots. And the Baltimore City Police didn't like that. So they planted drugs on Lil Melvin and falsely incarcerated him. When he came out, Lil Melvin vowed to be the biggest drug dealer out of Baltimore since he wasn't a drug dealer and they planted drugs on him anyway and sent him away. Lil Melvin ran back into the Jewish dude. The Jewish dude had a debt which he couldn't pay, a gambling debt. Lil Melvin said, I'll be right back when he got a hundred grand and paid the debt for the Jewish dude. After that, the Jewish dude opened the doors for Lil Melvin to some real serious dudes, kind of like the mob. Lil Melvin got tied into all this and started getting hair run and cocaine from these dudes. He flooded the streets of Baltimore City. He ran the whole city from east to west Baltimore. He made a lot of money doing this, but more importantly, Lil Melvin was a good dude. He was a focused dude. He didn't smoke. He didn't drink. He helped the community. He tried to bring people together. Lil Melvin got incarcerated for all this because, of course, the feds was on him because he had a lot of power. He was a powerful dude in Baltimore. But when he came home, on a positive note, Lil Melvin tried to get the people of Baltimore off of drugs and explain to them what it was doing to the city. He also helped film the hit show, The Wire, based on Baltimore, West Baltimore. So Lil Melvin was a good dude. He was a powerful dude man but at the end of the day he was a respectful dude he was a smart dude he came out here and did what he had to do to help the people and get the people off drugs and you know become an activist for the community i just want you guys to know a little history about my city little melvin rest in peace he died december 3rd 2015 you know he came out here and did what he had to do for the community like and subscribe you know don't forget to do that it's your boy tony i'm out